hello this is Frida welcome to my channel today I am going to be talking about top-down knit garments like this one I knit I knit uh, vests actually this is a vest for me that I have knit and it's a plus size and I do have tutorials on how to knit plus size cardigans top-down and I will show you how this is done for this particular cardigan, I have cast on a total of 96 stitches from top. I have knit two sides to create this uh, pearl look, and I made it buttonhole right here. I knitted about five ridges, and then I have continued to knit, so I separated 17 stitches front 12 stitches for the sleeve thirty stitches for the back twelve stitches for the sleeve again and seventeen stitches for the front and I divided eight stitches to give the border and I continue to knit and don't forget to add the one stitches here that we do increase two sides on four so a total of four on the sleeve on the back and on the front so it depends on your size I would recommend knitting um, for a small size I usually knit seven inches down after the, the the collar area i measure from the back for small sizes i knit and i do have how many stitches to cast on and uh, if you go into my videos you will find that out and i will put a link below just in case for uh, for this particular uh, for small size i knit, uh, knit from here down about seven inches to separate the sleeve area, the body parts. For medium, it, uh, it's 7.5 to 8 inches. For large, about 8 to 9. And extra large, it goes up. For myself, I did 10 inches. 10 inches. Because I'm between 2 extra large to 3 extra large. And then you divide the body parts and you continue till you continue increasing two sides to two stitches on both here and then here what I did is after dividing the body parts I had I think I had about six uh, balls of yarn so I wanted to knit the sleeves first and then go on so I knitted the sleeves just in case and I used up all the yarn that I had and uh, while I'm doing that I increased here here two uh, two stitches both sides take a look at it you will see I increased two stitches depends on uh, how big your uh, waist and your boot uh, and your waist is so two, one, two, three, four, about four times I increased on mine. Five, I believe, five, yeah. And this is a, a vest that I have knit for myself. I would highly recommend, especially for new learners, to knit top down because it's the easiest way to knit. You don't have to worry about the body parts weaving, it's just like sewing together. It's one piece, no sewing uh, involved. Just knit it and go. Okay, and my next cardigan that I have knit, I will show you. Okay, this is the next cardigan that I have knit for myself. And this is a crew neck as well. And I did do a tutorial on how to knit the sleeves in a round using the pearl technique. So 
So here's a closer look, me wearing it. Okay, so here is the cardigan that I have knit. As you can see, it's top down. This one I made a change. Uh, I did the 17 stitches, but I added five more stitches to give this uh, neck area, just, just to give a little change. And the yarn that I have used is from Ice Yarns. And uh, it's, it's a very unique yarn that I wanted to try. Because I usually knit from my stash, but this one I had to purchase. And I will put the link if you are interested. Because uh, it looks like metallic, but it's not. It's, it's acrylic yarn. And here's our... The, decreases I can see the stitch so this is seamless like there's no sewing involved it's one piece that I have knit and I put buttonholes and every other five rows I believe five ridges two six, seven ridges okay this is again the same uh, technique that I have uh, uh, knit it's top down 96 stitches, 17, 12, 30, 12, 17. And this fits me perfectly. Okay, I'm going to show you another cardigan that I have just started. But this is a V-neck. So you minus the 17 stitches. Because I am increasing on the side. Okay, this one I just started last night, and this is the yarn that I did a review about. It's just lovely. I only had like one and a half balls left, so I lo love the color. So I, when I go to Turkey, I will buy more. But I just wanted to start before I, you know, so I would have the, uh, I'm planning to make a shawl, shawl collar with this cardigan and I want it long so I'm sure I'm gonna be having fun grabbing from the stores these this lovely yarn instead of ordering and paying shipping fee <laughs> so I'm gonna save a little bit from there but this is the cardigan same 96 stitches minus 1717 I believe it's 60 62 or I can't remember so it's 12 30 12 stitches that I have started plus the one 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 on the increase areas and I I added I increased to create the collar to make the v-neck and this is how it's going to be and uh, I will do the shawl collar I will pick up stitches and I will go around and I will knit the collar that would be the last thing to do after finishing the length of the cardigan. So these are the increases. My, I'm going to be knitting 10 inches long from this part because I'm not adding the uh, the collar area. So that makes it makes it more comfortable to wear. So for for me, it would be 10 inches. And for a small size, it would be seven seven and a half extra small I would recommend seven inches long knitting from in the middle from the neck that's how you measure it and then that's all to it so it's very easy to knit a top down cardigan shrug vest anything you want so I just wanted to point this out that it's very easy and it's really fun to create something and wear and wear it So again, I'm back to this vest that I, I fell in love. <laughs> uh, the yarn was in my stash that I bought. It was the Angora Rabbit Blend yarn with viscose. So this felt like I've been knitting with wool and uh, wool and uh, cotton. That's what it felt like knitting. So uh, even silk, that's how it felt. But uh, I just love how it turned out. And I did not sew the buttons. I'm planning to buy lovely buttons from Turkey when I go there. And uh, I, I did the buttonholes. What I do is I knit two together 
and when I come to this side I knit two together here and when I come here I just pick up a stitch so the holes aren't that big I don't like big huge holes and then the holes will always get bigger but uh or I can just leave it like this even this looks nice as you can see this part this part it depends on what if you want to do short rows but when you look at it you can see my short rows because this part is higher than the front because I did short rows and it's really hard to see yeah, this part is higher than the front goes down and I just bind off and after I had a little bit yarn left so I just crocheted the edges using the camel toe I believe camel toe technique and to create this lovely stitch all the way around so I used that entire yarn that I had in my stash Okay, I just wanted to show you how I do my um, increases and while knitting the v-neck I do the increases until I uh, divide the body parts. So that's how I do my increases on the v-neck and I do it um, on this particular cardigan that I have started. I'm doing the increases every row and this is how I do it. Go back and I pull it like this. This is how I do my increases. And I just knit until I come where I need to do my increases. Just to uh, come to show you, I'm going to knit all the way here and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the uh, next increase where I do the sleeve increase in the front body so this is what I knit like this and I go between here and I pull it from the back and this is how I increase so this is one increase for the front and I knit this stitch but I don't pull it I go back and I do the increase for the sleeve so one would be increased for the front and one would be increased for the sleeve and I knit and I knit and I do the same increase here. So what I just did. And I don't do any increases when I'm knitting the back. And the needles that I'm using is Lika. Lika needles. They're bamboo, but they're very good. I really like them. They're five millimeter. Five millim. So I just wanted to show you how to do my increases. And like I said, I knit. I knit the length that I need, so for me it would be 10 inches long, and I divide the body parts. And I just put the put these uh, on a on a different needle, and I come back and I knit the sleeves. Where I knit the sleeves, and I continue knitting the body part. Like I just fold it like this, and I do have tutorials, so I'll show you when I when you come to my. When you come to my YouTube channel. Okay, so you're at my YouTube channel. And then you go and you check my videos. You click here. You click here. And then you will see all my videos that I have posted since 2009. And then, let's say you want to search for something. You go on to this. You click it here. And then you put down, top down, or I don't know write something that you you are looking for and then all of my top downs will be appearing well top down the hat that I have knit the baby card again and all my knitted items will show up for a baby that I have knit again top down just like this every top down that I have knit will appear on when you search it okay and I also have videos that I have made 
to knit a bridal shrug. If you go back, I don't know why that, that, that didn't open. It must be the tags that I have used. So you have to go down, down, down. That was the first earlier years that I have posted those. Here they are, how to knit the Cape Middleton Angora Rabbit. So these are, I put down how many stitches you need and so far. So you just click it. And then when you, you have to click, I have, I get so many comments and they're asking me, please click this part. See, I wrote down everything here, how to knit, how many stitches you need, how many yarns you need, like everything is here. So you need to search and then ask, if you can't find it, then ask me, because I, I made this tutorial in 2015, like it was, it's like four years ago. So I do forget things as well. So I just wanted to show you uh, and talk about how to knit top down, top down shrugs, cardigans, anything vests that you can knit. So this is just a review on how to knit top down and I hope you liked it. Share it with your family, friends and happy knitting, happy crocheting. Have a great day. And you can see my my uh, knitting circular needles are hanging there.